you know if y'all can hear me I'm outside the Barclays uh, I'm outside the Barclays and this is in Brooklyn New York I want to get people the time to go into the get into the, the chat room get into the building before I go live I'm not gonna be out here too long I, I, I you know I'm in Brooklyn so I said I'm gonna pass by but I want to show y'all what it's like for those of you that are out of town and I start talking to people look at the police presence out here look at the police presence out here you see that huge police presence out here right so we in Brooklyn outside of the Barclays Center and um, they're having services for DMX inside I'm gonna make sure y'all can hear me let me know if y'all can hear me see the bikes bikes out here uh, yeah let me let me know if y'all can hear me because I'm, I'm gonna interview a couple of people and I just want to make sure y'all gonna be able to hear us I got a mic on me sorry so I want to make sure y'all can hear me okay Wu Wu what's up my brother yeah I'm in Brooklyn you know what I'm saying let me get let me get my first interview yeah. brother brother you mind if I ask you all right that brother talking let's keep let's keep it moving let's keep it moving all right so we in we in the ball plays all right sound good 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 can I go sideways let me see Ah, oh, shit, it says, damn, orientation is locked. So since I started that way, I got to continue this way. I know for future use, though, um, the start is sideways. Apologize about that. I did not know. But once again, let me show y'all what's going on in Brooklyn right now. This, also, this is the Barclays. For those of you that are out of town, and if I'm talking too loud, let me know. I'm not, I, I don't have my headphones. I have no idea. I just bought this mic and I can't even hear myself. So I just want to make sure I'm good. Yeah, this is New York City. Brooklyn, New York. But this is what's good. That's the Barclays Center, right? That's where the Nets and the um, Brooklyn Nets play at. And that's where they're having the services at. You see a lot of people with the shirts on. Shout out my brother. Can I get a, can I get a, uh, uh, can I ask you a few questions about DMX? Yeah. Could, you, could you just hold this real quick? Yeah. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Listen, I, I got a YouTube channel, right? right. 250,000 uh, viewers, and I'm just out here reporting the news, and I want to know. I see you with the shirt on. Talk to me about what DMX meant to the culture, my brother, what he meant to you personally as a as a black man. Um, first of all, my name is Mo from Best Out Brooklyn. Yes. Um, I grew up listening to DMX um, high school. Put a little lot From yeah. high school, you know, and... Um, He's been an inspiration. I mean, just by him just speaking his heart out, him just being him, that's uh -huh. how I related to it. You know what I mean? And um, it was just his energy, his energy, his energy. That's what moved me. You know, and I, I'm, that, I'm, the, I'm that same person of that character. And kind of find out we had the same birthday. Mm. So that's what, what's what, real what, about what, what is that? What's December 18th, 1981, I was born. You know what I right, mean? Right, right. Um, so it's just like, he's all about movement, positivity. And he, and he, he, had, he, he acknowledged his faults. He acknowledged what he's wrong. So he would mess up and he talked to God and asked for forgiveness at the same time. So it's not like he was just a lost soul. You know what I mean? At the same time, he knew who he was, but he had faults. He made mistakes. He's human. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and the thing about it, he was an open book. So what I like about it being that he was an open book, he could be a re people could be able to relate to his story. So those right. that feel that it given up and feel like that's it, they could just be able to listen to his music. They'd be able to relate. Shout all the way out from Bed Stuy, Brooklyn. DMX, you did this. You did this. For life. Uh, any contact info you want to follow? Um, you can follow me on um, Deep Conditioner. Instagram, Deep Conditioner. That's D-E-E-P-C-O-N-D-I-T-I-O-N-E-R. All right? I appreciate it, brother. Love. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Make sure you that cryptocurrency. Say that again? Yeah, I'm tapped into crypto. XLM, XLM. All that, yeah. XRP. Make sure you get your digital ledger to take it off. Uh, the hardware wallet, right? Absolutely. I have the um, I got the um the from SafePal. I went to SafePal. Yeah, I got the device. It's, it I, it's coming in the mail. The device is coming in the mail. Because they're gonna monitor and take people. Take yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you have in your pocket, you 
No, no, I got. I'm getting the hardware wallet. I appreciate you for sharing that with me, though, brother. Because the people listening. Thank you, brother. Peace, peace, brother. All right. That brother dropped a couple of jewels or crypto. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Deep conditioner. I got you. All right, brother. Yeah, that brother wasn't uh, stingy at all about sharing them jewels as far as cryptocurrency and the hardware wallets. So shout out to that brother. You know what I'm saying? But let's um. Let's get a little closer to the Barclays Center once again. We out here. You know, this is exactly what's going on out here. It's a little later in the evening. You know, it's a little later in the evening. And um, we're going to see what's going on. We're going to get right in front of the Barclays. I'm going to show you. We're going to go right in front. I'm going to show you what's going on. What's a hardware wallet? That's that cryptocurrency talk I've been trying to tell y'all about. Y'all been bullshitting. I had several workshops on it. Several workshops. Dealing with the whole crypto talk. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Remember that, brother. All right. Let's 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 uh let's see if we can talk to somebody else out here. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if we can talk to somebody else out here. Or my brother DMX. Like I said, I ain't gonna be out here too long. I was scrolling through the neighborhood and I say, damn, let me stop and show the people what's going on. But this is this is I know a lot of y'all. This is Brooklyn, y'all. This is the new buildings they building to gentrify the neighborhood. You see them big ass skyscrapers? They building that, you know what I'm saying? Let's get a little closer to the bar clays. What's up with y'all? Shout out photograph him. I see y'all see him with the snakes back in the days. They used to have brothers used to stand on two fifth with the snakes and all that. This that DMX era type shit. You don't see this shit no more. This DMX era type shit right here with the snakes. You know what I'm saying? You know? Who, who snakes are these? Brother, I, I, I got a YouTube channel. Brother. Can, can, I, can I ask you a couple of questions? Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold, hold this, this Hold this real quick. Thank you, beloved. What, what's happening, brother? I see you out here with the snakes. This reminded me of the DMX era. I used to see brothers fact. on two fifth with the snakes. That's a fact. I don't see that no more. But That's talk to fact. me about um real quick, Black Magic 363 on YouTube. Talk to me about what what the DMX that whole era meant to you, my oh, brother. Oh shit, for me it's the dog fighting. It's the uh, the underground. Like he's the king of the underground dogs. Yeah. So anybody that respect any real hardcore hip hop. Got to respect DMX. Got to respect the underdog. Yeah. He's the underdog hip-hop artist. He cut no corners. He had no filter. He talked about his feelings. Uh-huh. He wasn't ashamed of shit he been through. Yeah. And he kept it down the way to the end. I respect the DMX, my nigga. Indeed. So, uh, what do you think about the direction hip-hop is in right now in comparison to what the, the era that DMX uh, came up in? I mean, it's a skinny jean era. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's watered down. But it is what it is. The real hip hop gonna come back. So we just gotta let everybody live. Let live, let go. And the real, the real men in hip hop will come back. So DMX had the dogs. What's right. your purpose with the snakes? Cause he explained why he loved dogs so much. So when I when I, I wanna ask you, brother, what's up with you and your snakes? What what type of affinity you have toward these snakes, my brother? Snakes got a vibe. What vibe? Respect they vibe. They got any vibe. <laughs> so they ready for whatever you want for them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's snake life. So that's so like, so you respect them and they respect you. Facts. So you're not scared at all. Never. Wow. And they're a triple threat. And they ain't scared of nothing. They eat chickens and rabbits, turkeys. <laughs> yeah. They hard hitters. That's what we respect. Can, 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 can I see you hold one of them on sure, camera, sure. brother? Let me let me let just show the people. A lot of people from out of town, and they uh. Out of town. What up? Yeah. What we doing on the East Coast? What up? Exi where you from, brother? Where you from? Bed-Stuy, do or die. Oh, you from bed okay. You already know, baby. So, the brother, this is that era. This is that DMX era. You used to see a lot of brothers posted up on the streets. DMX fuck with snakes, too, yo. Two you see that? Two snakes we don't fuck with, but we fuck with these snakes. Indeed, indeed, indeed. We outside with it. It's facts, man. Thank you, beloved. I appreciate it, brother. Appreciate you, do you got a handle? You got an Instagram you want to get to people? 646 Five zero eight fifty one hundred is my cell phone. I'll at me. All right, brother. I appreciate it. Gotcha. All right, all right. So we out here. 
We in Brooklyn. Give some of that energy, that Brooklyn energy. You know what I'm saying? Peace, peace, sis. All right, all right. We just seeing what's going on out here. You know what I'm saying? Once again, fam, this is the Barclays for anybody that's out of town. This is the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. And they have, you see the picture of DMX right there, Celebration of Life. They're having the services inside. And a lot of people's outside right now. So I just said, brother, you want to talk real quick? Can I ask you a few questions? Hold this real quick, my brother. I see you with the shirt on, my brother. I got a YouTube channel. What's Talk to me about wh what's the name of the channel first? Uh, Black Magic Three Six Three. Black Magic. Yeah, Three Six Three. Three Six Three. Yeah. What, what's up with your rough ride again? What he meant to you, my brother? Obviously something. Uh, you seen this out here before you see me? Oh uh, no, no, I, I no, 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 no. Yeah, this the real one. It's not none of them bull like ones. It's the real one. So you was you was like in that clique during that era? No, 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 no. I was young, man. Rough Riders influenced me, man. But this, it's what was going on in '98. If yeah. Was outside of '98. Yeah. You know what I mean, so it's the real one. It's not no bullshit. I'm not a rough rider, nothing like that. You know uh -huh. what I mean? But X influenced me a lot. Young Rich Heffel, you know what I mean? What, what, what did you like most about his music? Like, what what stood out about his music amongst everybody else's music? He was real. Like, he didn't hide who he was, you know what I mean? Mm, facts. If, if it was good or bad, like, he didn't hide who he was, you know what I mean? The dark, the light, you know what I mean? Yeah. He didn't hide who he was, you know what I mean? Trying. Showing who you are. That's, a, that's, that's who I could say DMX was, a real person. Anybody in hip hop remind you of that realness right now, or we gotta? You think we gotta wait to get that again? Anybody in hip hop remind me of the realness of DMX? Displayed, yeah, his realness, the dark, the light, all that. Oh no, man! Probably the closest I can say, probably like somebody like NBA YoungBoy or somebody. Okay. You know what I mean, because YoungBoy go through a lot of shit. You know yeah. Mean? He, he lit that shit out in the public. You know. What yeah. I mean? Drug addiction, all that shit. You right. see what I'm saying? So I say somebody like Young Boy. I, I appreciate you got a handle you want to give the people or Instagram Young Rich anything? Hefe, y U N G Rich Hefe, J E F E. I appreciate Young it, brother. Hefe, underscore. I'm outside. Appreciate it. I'm outside, Brooklyn. We outside. Yes, sir. All right, peace, brother. We out here, family, interviewing the people, talking to people outside DMX Memorial Services. Let's get a little closer. I think I seen a nation of Islam out here. I want to interview one of them brothers soon. But what's up with y'all? Talk to me, family. What's up with y'all in the chat? Talk to me in the chat. What's up with y'all in the chat? What y'all think so far about what y'all see outside in Brooklyn? Oh, he said, hell no, no, no NBA young boy. <laughs> Yo, the you fuck with him. We may not fuck with him, but the you fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? My camera is blurry. I can't do nothing about that, Governor. I apologize that I don't have 4K footage outside. But <laughs> motherfuckers is crazy. I can't do nothing about it. You can say, but your camera is blurry. I'm grateful, motherfuckers. I can't do nothing about that. I'm outside. I'm sure there's a lot of Wi-Fi connections out here. Uh, but tell me what's on your mind. Tell me what's on your mind before I get to my next interview. Maybe y'all might give me a few suggestions. But tell me what's on your mind. Who's on trash duty? I don't know. Obviously somebody. The sanitation department. Yeah. All right. LOL is Respect for showing this footage. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Just wanted to uh, give y'all a glimpse of how this shit look in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? I should go on the street. You know the cars, they still got the cars coming down here. Gentrification dam, yeah. Interview a female, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to get a sister next. We're going to get one of the queens next. We definitely... Oh, your mind if I ask you a question about DMX? I'm, I got a YouTube channel. Yes, no? No? Okay. All right. 
Yeah, the queens be a little, a little more shy for whatever reason about the interviews. But we gonna get a queen out here. You know what I'm saying? Just showing y'all what's going on out here. DMX, we got the DMX shirts right there. Let's see, that's y'all. I should have asked that sister right there. You know, let's see. We're going to find somebody. Them bikes is out here, though. Them bikes is out here. Y'all see them bikes out here? What's up with this brother right here? Brother, I got to ask you a question real quick on camera. Hold this. Hold this, this is the mic. Hold this real quick. I see you with the eye of raw. You got the beads and all that. What you doing out here at uh, the DMX Memorial Services? What, what brings you out here today, brother? The energy that I learned in the last hour uh, all DMX used to ask his audience to join him in a prayer before the party was on. Uh -huh. I found that angelic. Angelic. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I didn't understand, you know. Uh -huh. I'm a little old in school and uh -huh. the hip hop generation per se. Uh -huh. So, you know, I'm listening, but I wasn't following. Yes. I'd hear about them cats, all, you know, all the brothers, Biggie, you know, Puffy, you know, the whole crew. Uh huh. And them and all pass, and I heard one of his crew said how the concert opens. Wow. He always had a moment for creator. Yes. How, how, how important is prayer? How important is prayer for our people? How important is prayer, do you think? Well, the more prayer that our people have, the stronger humanity will be. Because uh -huh. it's an automatic respect for something higher than yourself. Uh -huh. You won't be as callous about life The rough they, riders, the rough they, they, they making a noise out here with the, the bikes. The rough riders, so man. They making a noise out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. They making yeah. a noise out there with the bikes. The rough riders are on. But you say, yeah, play is very important. You said play is very important, and we can't get away from prayer. Can't get away. I got a simple anecdote. The toughest guy, if you have a little brush with a situation in life and you get hurt, the first thing comes up to his mouth is, oh God. Oh God. You know, he, hey, uh, I've seen it happen. So hey, you're right, I've seen it happen. Hey, I've seen it happen. You don't say, oh shit, uh, no, no, no. You go yeah. straight to the creator. Yes. Something hurt yeah. or something. Oh God, oh God. Hey. Yeah, yeah. So there it is, my brother. I Peace appreciate it. To you. Thank you, my brother. Enjoy yes, your day. Sir. All right, some wisdom from the elder right there. Some wisdom from the elder. Sis, can I can I ask you a question, sis? I gotta, uh, I gotta. Um, I'm on YouTube. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about DMX? No. Okay. All right. Yeah. For some reason, the, the queens is the, they don't they don't like to be on camera. I don't know for whatever reason. Yeah. He go another sister with the snake. Go another sister with the snake. See if I, how you doing, sis? How you doing? How you doing? Let's see if I. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna. They taking pictures. I don't wanna. They taking pictures. I'm gonna um, let her do what she do. And I'm gonna keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? I want to get a sister that's a little older that was around during that era. But yeah, yeah, basically, family, once again, if you're just tuning in, this is Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. This is the Barclays Center. They got the services going on inside. I'm outside, and there's a lot of people outside right now. I'm not going to be out here too long. Just wanted to show y'all a glimpse of what it looked like, just in case, just in case the news don't really show y'all how it looks out here. I want to show y'all how it looks out here. Brother got the radio. 
That's that, um, you used to be my dog, using my left titty. Scream right or die, I thought you would die with me. Find out you a bitch, you would, you would, you know what I'm saying? That's that song. I think that's from um, his second album, because he dropped two albums in one year. So I think, Not Dark and Hell is Hot, the, um, I forgot the name of the second one. What's the name of the second album he dropped, family, in that same year? He dropped two albums, Dark and Hell is Hot. What's the name of that second album? Let me see who knows. Flesh of My Flesh, yeah. Blood of My Blood. Yeah, there you go. Kansas City, thank you. Yeah, Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood. Let's see if I could, uh... I don't need to get one of these sisters, man. Gotta, we gotta convince the sisters to talk to us. Why y'all think the sisters don't like talking on camera? Why y'all think that? And this extends beyond the street. This is just in general. Why y'all think the sisters don't want to talk on camera like that? Huh? Oh, my bugging out. Let me see if I get this sister right here. Excuse me. I can ask you a question. I've got a YouTube channel. Can I ask you a few questions? About, can I, about the video list, please? Buggy Mac? Yeah, I just want to. Now, you, you got the old school camera. Yeah, I got the old school camera filming from 98. I had one of those. You did? That's dope. It's the, the Sony one or just I had the, the Canon one? GL2. So I remember that whole era. Yeah. Totally Let me I ask you, what's your why, why are you out here? What's your thoughts about what's going on today with DMX? You told me DMX was one of those real niggas. He was one of the rawest. Uh huh. He didn't give a fuck, and I uh -huh. like that attitude. He was really for the community, not only for the industry, but he did what he had to do for the hood. Uh -huh. Um, he always kept the hood in his mind. He never left the hood. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Um, he was just one of the realest. You feel me? He was just one of the realest out there. Um, God bless his soul. Well, he will be missed. Uh -huh. um, but his legacy will just live on forever mm. and never and never and never and never why and do you ever. think somebody like DMX is rare why don't we why don't we get too many of those individuals DMX wasn't scared he wasn't scared of anybody he wasn't scared of you know telling the truth uh-huh he he just kept it real like that's all I can say like I don't know it's just like he just wasn't one of those other rappers that we know today and especially at the time I mean I was a baby but then it's like just growing up learning DMX is like, yeah, he was just not like one of those rappers at all, at all. So, you know, he will always be remembered. His art will always be remembered. His just DMX. Everything. Just I appreciate everything. it. Do, do you want to share your contact info with the people? It's a YouTube um, channel. Okay, yeah. Instagram. Like an Instagram, yeah. Yeah, I got Instagram, the Golden Goddess with four S's. That's it. From Brooklyn, always New York, Philly. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. You, you want to say something to sis? <laughs> you want to um, say something? Yeah. <laughs> um, RIP to DMX, you heard, you feel me? DMX spoke for the hood, always be for the hood. Uh -huh. and there's never, there's not a lot of niggas like that nowadays. Nobody keep it a hundred, you feel me? Uh -huh. Always came back, always uh -huh. kept it real, you feel me? RIP to DMX, bro, that's all I gotta say, man. Yeah. I, pre I appreciate it. You got an Instagram handle you wanna share with the people? Yeah, my Instagram is emayuel.west, E-M-A-N-U-E-L-L-E dot west, y'all. I appreciate it, y'all. All right, y'all take care, all right? What's up? What's up? This is Black Magic 363. And I, I, you know what I'm saying? All right, y'all take care. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, all right, all right. Once again, we out here in Brooklyn. We out here in Brooklyn. Talking to the people, just letting y'all know what's going on for those out of town. I don't know what the, once again, I don't know what mainstream media will show y'all today. If they will show y'all anything. So I just said I'm in the area. Let me just give y'all a glimpse about what's going on outside. I don't, don't know what's going on inside. But I want to give y'all a glimpse about what's going on outside. Alright family. The police presence is out here. It was a little crowded earlier. It's a little later. Uh, but people are still out here. I, I, they still got the... Um, services going on inside you know what i'm saying family but we outside right now talk to me friend what's going on with y'all what is going on with y'all oh, they said the golden goddess looks good <laughs> third eye boogie come on third. oh but i need to talk to somebody from the nation of islam can i talk to one of your brothers yes sir yes sir soldier hold, hold this mic baby. all right below. all right brother it's yes, good sir. to see y'all brothers out here yes sir below. appreciate it yeah, thank you. um yeah, what baby, brings y'all out here today at the services for DMX. Let me see that right there. DMX family reached out to the most honorable Ms. Louis Farrakhan. Uh huh. And they asked him, and he said some. Put the mic, put the mic up higher. I'm here. I just want them to hear you. 
I don't know Mr. Farrakhan ask him, could he say a kind word? Minister Farrakhan will speak tomorrow at the private funeral. Okay. Oh, he will. Okay, yes, sir. great, great. He prayed for Brother DMX. Yes. And so what the Mr. Farrakhan did, he sent 10,000 final calls into New York City as a gift. Uh -huh. with DMX picture on the cover, as he did with Nipsey Russell, Aretha Franklin. He instructed us, the mighty FOI, to take not a penny from our people and just show love to our people and said this is a free gift because we love our brother DMX. He's a, you know, icon here, especially in New York City. So that's what we did. We're here for it. Show support to our people, man. That's what we're here for, Blah. I appreciate y'all for being out here, my brother. Thank you, Top Soldier. Right, take care of yourself. All right, now, my brother. brother. All right. Thank you, Blah. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate it. The brothers from the Nation of Islam just gave me the final call. Hold on. Let me put this up. How much more can we stand? Justice for right. The intensifying universal cry for justice. That's the brothers from the Nation of Islam. FOI. Through the Islam. Hold on, let me make sure I got the mic. Alright. How you doing? Can I ask you a question about DMX on camera? Hold, hold that for me. What well, I see you with the shirt. What brings you out here today? I'm from Brooklyn. I'm home. What did he, what did DMX mean to you in your childhood? <laughs> I'm lost right now. Are you serious? Hold on, let me bring my sis. Sis! Yeah. She got a lot to say. What's up? You got the shirt too? I, we, we on YouTube right now. And I, and I, say that again, sis? Young Galago, holla at your girl. King Galago on the IG. Holla at bitch coming at you live and motherfucking direct. R.I.P. the King. Rest in power. Indeed. Uncle X. Yes. I this is water. Yelling it's all good. It's all good, sis. Keep it cute. Um, what do you expect to you in your childhood? Well, I ain't gonna. I look good on this thing. <laughs> Get into it. <laughs> Facts. I don't get phone. The guy's good. Shout out to what's your name? Uh, Rich. Rich. Oh, shout yeah. out to Rich. You already know. Tune the motherfucker all the way in. Um. Well, like I told the guy. Mom love um DMX, Uncle X. You feel me? I grew Uncle up with that. My '90s baby. Yes. Yeah, you know I mean, that's my man's. My man's do what I do. We do what I do, and we out here. We all here for each other. I love our um double law. We out here. Grr. Hey, I, I appreciate it. You know, he asked me what um Uncle X meant to me. My thing is this: like I told the man, the sir, listen. At the end of the day, Uncle X used his vessel. You feel me? So, you know, spirit was bright as day. Everybody come with us. Know who you are. Don't be scared of being who you are. Recognize who you are. And don't be scared to share that with others. Facts. Because they may not be scared to be who they are once they see that you're just bold and you out and here. And that's who he was. Yeah, yeah. And I respect that and I love that. And he was talented. Don't get it fucked up. Uncle X definitely was top five. Fuck out of here. You're I give him top ten. I give him top ten. I said five. You said five? Okay, okay. Like, yeah. don't get it fucked up. Niggas is talented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fact. He was yeah. definitely up there. Bar yeah. for bar. He had tell you that story. And he was just him authentically. I respect that. I love that. And I'm out here. I can't even be on the camera like hey, that right hey, now. Hey, I appreciate it, sis. <laughs> hey, y'all take care of yourselves, all right? All right, great. All right, take care. Shout out my boy, Rich. Tune in. Live up, my guy, Rich. Uh, what's that called? Double tap. Like that shit, subscribe. All that. <laughs> all right, sis. All right, all right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sis, was, how you doing, sis? How you doing, brother? All right. Sis was super lit out here. They, I mean, people just having a good time, you know. People having a good time out here. It's celebration. I don't blame nobody for enjoying life and enjoying themselves. Shout out to sis being super lit. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Craig, she rolling them R's, she cool. Yeah, she was lit, definitely. All right. But yeah, like I said, it's a celebration. I want to show you, peace, peace. I want to show y'all what's going on out here. MBK. They got the Nutcrackers out here, you know. They got everything out here. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, man. Yeah, we at the bar. Once again, that's how the bar place look. If you're not from New York, that's the bar place where the new... New, um, new. I'm sorry, not the New Jersey, no more. The Brooklyn Nets play at. 
that's what X would want. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, that's what that that is what X would probably want. I don't know. Let's see what's going on over here, family. Let's see what's going on. I just want to show you that Brooklyn energy. Let me show you. Hold on. Let me. I don't want to cut in front of anybody. Y'all see that? Mother daughter duo. Yeah, like nice. <laughs> yeah, I heard of you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, what's up, guys? Oh, I love it. Since you got, yeah, since y'all got a cash app, yeah, this is the fit pop. Tell, I'm, I'm on YouTube, so the people will donate. Tell Absolutely. the people. So the cash app is Essence of Hip Hop. Essence is like the magazine, and this is you can find us on Instagram, and that's Lil Essence of Hip Hop. First mother daughter duo in the gang. Lit, 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 lit. I hope y'all heard that. I hope y'all heard that. I hope y'all heard that. Absolutely. So I'm Essence of Hip Hop, and this is Lil Essence of. So that's a mother daughter duo, hip hop, they're in the streets. You know, they doing what they do. All right. Yeah, mama and daughter. Yeah, this, hey, hey, man. Hey, y'all cut it out. <laughs> y'all cut it out. You know what I'm saying? Stop being so judgmental, y'all. Stop being so judgmental, y'all. We out here, people doing what they do. You know, if she grow up to be a, if she grow up to be the next hip hop superstar. Yeah, I ain't going to be saying that shit then. <laughs> but yeah, we out here, family. You know, showing y'all how New York is. I appreciate the donations, y'all. Kilowatt, I appreciate the donation. Any donations I get, I appreciate it. Ah, so I think I'm about to get out here soon, y'all. I'm about to get it. Hold on, let me, uh, hold on, y'all. Yeah, I'm about to get out here soon. You know, there's not much left to show y'all out here. Pretty much gonna get the same footage. You know, they got the little man out here sleep. Little man knocked out. Made me think of my little man. I just left my little man. But we out here. Uh, about to get out of here. What's up with y'all? Talk to me. Talk to me. Let me see what y'all talking about. Talk to me. What y'all talking about? See, we got some trolls in here. I don't even know how to get rid of the trolls on my phone. <laughs> how y'all come to the DMX Memorial to troll? Like, y'all motherfuckers is crazy. She old. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, any, any questions, family, before I get it? How long you been there for? Well, as soon as I, as soon as I got here, I, 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 I went live. So, uh, shit. I've been on live for 34 minutes, so I've been out here for 45 minutes. It's looking cold to me. Yeah, it was a little. It was nicer earlier, but then it did. It did get cold. It did get. It did get cold. You know, how come you ain't in the building? Because this is where the action. Why would I be in the building if everybody's out here? What kind of? Everybody's out here. Everybody. Oh, you mean the building, the Barclays? Oh, that's that's invite only. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah, the, the um, Barclays. That you need passes. You need passes and all that to get in there. I don't have that right now. What the X mean to me? Uh, X was a special, special individual to me, and it meant a lot to me growing up, 
Like you always un- you always appreciate somebody who has passion. Passion is is a force. That's that chi and that passion is God energy. So when somebody got passion, it it, it it resonates with the world. Whatever you if you could juggle balls for a living on the train, if you got passion, it resonates with the people sitting on the train, and they're gonna give your ass a donation just off the strength of your passion. So a lot of people they used to say, yo, so and so sings better than so and so, why so and so ain't on? And I'll give you an example. Beyonce, when Beyonce sings, Beyonce got a lot of emotional intention, which is another word for passion. So when you got passion, it's just an invisible, invisible, I said invisible. It's an invisible force that resonates with the rest of humanity. Pac had it. Kanye got it. I'm trying to think of the people I know that got Kanye got it. Pac got it. X got it. Those are some of the, like, the main musicians that I know in hip-hop that had it. That resonates, uh, resonated with me. Yeah, it gives you chills, yeah. 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 Yeah, X had the Anubis energy, yeah, definitely. Nobody sent shells up. I don't know if anybody sent shells up. I'm not sure. My phone is a little messed up. Why? Why is Roscoe? Why you keep asking about somebody busting your guns? Roscoe, cut that shit out, Roscoe. Cut that bullshit out. You keep worrying about somebody busting their guns. Cut that shit out, Roscoe. Get a life. Go get a woman. Go get you a woman, Roscoe, and you won't be asking questions like that. All right. Smooth and safe and smooth transitions throughout the rest of your day. Yes. Indeed. um, Rest in power to Shock G. Black Rob as well. All of them, you know what I'm saying? Definitely all of them. Yeah, the bikers is out here earlier. So many exes, the bikers out here. Let me start walking. I'm, I'm be on here about five more minutes, y'all. Uh, the bikers was out here earlier. They was representing. They was out here hard. They had the monster trucks out here. They didn't just have the four wheelers. They had the monster trucks out here. And the monster trucks was huge. Yeah, the monster trucks was huge out here. So, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, rich the new hits from the streets. Did it Cambada say DMX was his favorite? I'm not sure if Cambada said that. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not absolutely sure. I'm not sure. But we getting out of here, found. I'm walking away from the bar place now, actually. I'm walking away from the Barclays. DMX forever, baby. Check this out. Check this out. All right. Yeah, DMX love all those different vehicles, so that was dope, yeah. Why does death come in threes? I don't know. I've always heard that. Always heard that. Always, always heard that. Always, always heard that. Ah. Yeah. See the DMX shirt right there? Tie that, right? see that all right that's what's up there's nothing but a little nigga let me, let me ask this cop if he can talk officer are you allowed to talk on camera or you can't talk no okay all right officer said he can't talk on camera I want to see if the cop will talk, but he he's on duty, so he ain't gonna talk. Yeah. All right, all right. See, 
got some of the bikes out here now. All right. Yeah, his voice. Yeah, the the, um, the, the vo DMX voice, one of the illest, definitely. Hands down. Hands down, one of the illest voices. Let me show you some of the merch out here. Y'all see the DMX merch that's out here in New York? Got the shirt speech, brother. All right, all right. Brother got the bike on the street. Brother got the bike on the street. See all that damn shorty. She woo. She hit the. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So we getting out of here. We getting off for the scene right now. We getting off for the scene right now. I still got my final call. I'm trying to hold on to my final call right here. The brother gave me. You know? Officer, can I interview you or are you on the job? You can't? You can't? No, not right now? All right. All right. I knew he was going to say no. I just wanted to fuck with him. See what he said. See how he act. Ugh. Man. Yeah, yeah, we getting out of here. So this is uh, let me show y'all a little bit more Brooklyn. This is the Atlantic Terminal. I think this is one of the major train stops in Brooklyn. When you come into Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? It's one of the major train stops in Brooklyn. But this is uh, I guess you would call this downtown Brooklyn. I used to vend around here. Yeah, I used to vend around here in the street. I used to vend around here. Oh, man. Let me get out of here. Brother Rich is getting out of the memorial. Yeah, like I said, I just wanted to bring that to y'all real quick. I had my phone and the microphone for my phone on me, but I'm getting out of here. Yo, y'all see, you see, they got the Apple Store in Brooklyn now. You see the gentrification? They got the big ass Apple Store in Brooklyn, in, in Brooklyn now. I would have never imagined that. If you're from New York, you would have never imagined that. They got the Apple Store in Brooklyn right there. This is right in downtown Brooklyn. You know. But I mean, hey, I'm I'm on I'm on an Apple phone now. So who am I to talk, huh? I'm on an Apple phone right now, huh? Guess I need to be quiet, huh? Let's see what's going on. RIP DM sis, can I ask you a question? She said no. She said I can't ask her a question. I respect that. Sometimes you don't want to be asked questions. Sometimes you want to be left alone. But yeah, Brother Rich is getting out of here. Just, this is, so this is Brooklyn, y'all. This is Brooklyn. Brother Rich is getting out of there. I'm heading back to where I'm at. I, I parked my car. I had to park in the garage because it was so, uh, so much um, traffic and everything just coming down here. See, that's the inside of the app. You know, this is New York Apple Store, NYC Apple Store. Remember, I just told you the Apple Store. This is NYC Apple Store. That's the inside of the Apple Store in Brooklyn, NYC. Just giving y'all a glimpse. Letting y'all see how things are. Because if, if I'm not from a town, I love when people show me footage of the town. It's like, it's, it's amazing just to see the world when you're not able to travel. But you're still able to see certain things. Yeah, uh, no problem. Thanks for the coverage. They said no problem. No problem. Any questions before Brother Rich get out of here? Brother DMX is way better than Tupac. I wouldn't say that, but I definitely appreciate both of them. I won't even get into comparing both of them. Yeah, I'm from Detroit. I post my city. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. UK, shout out to the UK. Any questions before I get out of here? Any questions before I get out of here? Uh, why this weird? <laughs> the sidewalk, right? Yeah, the sidewalk. Do you think we gonna make a party out of this? We make a party out of everything. The black people make a me and blue pill talk, and red pill talked about that. Make a party out of everything. Oh, man. When the next time I have Phil on? Soon. Shout out Sapphire. Shout out my sister Sapphire. 
When are you going live again? Uh, tomorrow, so probably Monday. Tomorrow, Sunday. I'll probably be with my family tomorrow. So probably Monday. I'll probably go live Monday. Tomorrow, I'll be with the fam. Enjoying life with the fam. So probably Monday, I'll go live. Have you seen a change since the legalized weed and prostitution? <laughs> Your police is definitely more laid back. They definitely more laid back and why. I could say that. They more laid back. I could definitely I interviewed Mama Pill over here. This one time I the last interview I did with Mama Pill, we was on these steps over here. She was at the top of the steps and this is where I interviewed her at. Yeah. When will Red Pill be back so she the bikes? Yeah, dirty 911. Yeah, definitely. They definitely dirty. Definitely. Dirty dogs, definitely. Will you interview Dame Dash again? Um, I don't know. I have none against him. Last interview ain't go well, but I have none against him. So I don't know. Are uh, they having yeah, they're having a ceremony inside the Barclays, yes. Tariq Nasheed, what about Tariq Nasheed? I'm not sure about I know he got a documentary coming out. That's dope. It looked dope so far. Everybody should support uh buck 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 breaking? Yeah, buck breaking, yeah. KT will be back on soon. Does your queen have a a poetess or a singer? Uh she works with singers. I don't know if DMX had a will, C Diggs, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, Buck Breaking, yeah, that's the name of it. Yeah, that's the name of it. Has your imagination gotten better or vivid lately? Yes, definitely. I think this is the era we live in. The time we live in where our imagination is definitely better. My meditations is much better. Why the woke bro never do nothing in DC? I can't answer that. I think we do do things. The woke, as you call them, or the conscious. There's always events. There has been events for years happening in D.C. Landscape, good brother. Okay. I want to do a jam with Cambada. Got to reach out to him. DMX was poison facts. Hey, we all poisoned to a certain extent. We all got poisoned by Earth and by society to a certain extent. Shout out Germany in the building. We got Germany, we got UK, we got America. Who else we got in here? Germany, UK, America. We got a lot of countries in here. That's dope. I'm glad I'm I'm able to show people how New York look. I miss NYC. Not the same Brooklyn. Yeah, it's definitely not the same. Let me, let me keep walking. Let me keep walking though, y'all. Because y'all can walk with me till I get to the garage. Then I, I'll go. <coughs> There's a lot of crazy individuals. I can't let y'all see my car or nothing. These crazy stalkers and shit, man. Y'all don't even know. But yeah, I'm walking in Brooklyn. Y'all can walk with me down the block. The government killed DMX. Hey, if it's... Hey, listen, I don't even want to say that word that I got banned from. Y'all know the, that, that jab. I don't know. It may, may have been a jab. I don't know. You know I'm not, I, I, I want to officially hear his family say it. Or his family's, you know, uh, speak on it at least. And then, you know, I could be like, hey... Have I heard anything about Bobby Hammond lady? No, I haven't. No. Last time I talked to Bobby Hammond's wife was about... What was this? 2021? About four years ago, I talked to Bobby Hammond's wife. Last time I talked to Bobby Hammond's wife and Bobby Hammond was about four years ago. And I haven't talked to them since then. And she told me they was laying, they was laying low. So, I wish them the best. Absolute best. That's my brother, for real, for real, Bobby Hammond. Bigger than lectures. Oh, uh, shit. My phone is spazzing. You need to keep your private life on the deal, because if you got trolls in here... Yeah, the trolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know about them motherfuckers. Are they being strict about masks up there still? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Are you into crypto? If so, what coin? I, I've done workshops on that, y'all. Like, come on, y'all. Yeah, I'm into crypto. I got a bankroll from crypto. You heard me? Let me say that again. I got a bankroll fucking with crypto. 
and I tried to tell everybody in November then after November I did another workshop in January where I tried to tell everybody and people were still telling me all types of crazy ridiculous shit me and the brother be about to do something else again so I can't force anybody to do anything I tell y'all what I'm into I'm not hiding any of the information Uh, XRP Yeah, Phil told me Phil Valentine told me I'm going to tell y'all Phil Valentine told me on the phone A month ago We had a talk Because he know how I feel about crypto And I know how he feel about crypto People criticize me heavily for supporting crypto They're like, oh my god Phil Valentine said don't do crypto like, Eventually you niggas got to have a mind of your own Just because somebody say something don't mean you know you got to think for yourself I, that's my brother but I think for myself are you with BW no I'm not with BWO no shout out to them brothers though they doing their thing they are doing their thing shout out to brother polite also he's doing his thing with the stocks and the crypto big time polite is helping a lot of people right now and I know he's done things in the past, but right now I'm getting testimonies. The brother's doing great works right now in terms of the stock market, option trading, and cryptocurrency. So a lot of people, you know, the times is different now. A lot of things happening, though. There's a whole new paradigm, money matrix, as uh, as a uh, crypto current, the do crypto say. Diversify your portfolio, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, where am I? Uh, let me go over here. Gotta go over here. X gonna give it to you. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yeah, I'm in Brooklyn right now. This Brooklyn. I heard he's making up for past mistakes. Polite, that is. Hey, I mean. Hey. But now you gonna have Umar Johnson on? Yeah, downtown Brooklyn look different, right? It does, right? Totally different. Down if you if you from New York, you see the Bank of America? This was never here. Um, what used to be over here? I forgot what used to be here. But yeah, it's totally different down here. But yeah, I've I've man, I, I tried to have Umo on years ago, but Umo don't fuck with me. So he's not coming on my channel anytime soon. And Miss Arnetta had a beef and I guess he took that out on a lot of brothers from New York. I tried to have the brother on several times. Reach out to the brother a lot. But it is what it is. He he was sharp. He was real sharp. At one time. He had it going. I don't I haven't seen him lately, so I don't know what he's doing lately. But the brother was real sharp at one time. He had a lot going for himself. So I hope the brother's still doing great. I don't know what's going on with the brother right now. But no, I won't have the brother on anytime soon. Yeah, I'm almost where I'm at. Am I still out there on the table in J Street? No, 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 no. I've been stopped. I'm not out there no more. But I'm, you know, I'm a, one Saturday. I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna go out there one Saturday just to talk to y'all and show y'all where I used to be at. And I wasn't on J Street. I was on um, Fulton between. I think was that Hanson. Forgot Hanson Place. I forgot the exact street. When are you gonna have everyday people with their moms and dads? They catch the train, subways to work in the morning. When are you gonna have them on your show? I don't know. So they still beefing at a time. I'm not saying they were still beefing. I don't know what they doing. I'm just saying in the past they was, and that's one of the reasons why I was never able to get them. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> It seems like a long way. You know what, though? I had to park. There was, you know, there was no... You see the park right there? I had to park this far because I couldn't get closer. I couldn't get closer. I couldn't get closer. But this is Brooklyn. This is L.I. This is the famous, infamous L.I.U. Hanson. Thank you. Ah, oh, somebody... Damn, who are you? Who are you, brother? Reacher University. Falling between Hanson and Nevin. See, they, they know where I was at. My brother said Hanson between now. Yeah, that's exactly where I used to be at. 
but this is Fulton. I mean, this is um, I said Fulton. This is LIU. This is the entrance to where some of the most famous lectures went down. Right here. Right here. This is the entrance to where some of the most famous lectures went down. I remember Bobby Hammond and Phil Valentine was in the building at the same time. R right here. Long Island University, y'all. See that? LIU? That see that LIU? Long Island University. Bobby Hammond and Phil Valentine was right there. We used to walk right through there. All the vendors used to set up. Let me go a little closer just for y'all. I'm, I'm right here, actually. See where it says park? I'm right there. But I just want to... I'm going down memory lane. This LIU right here. This is where all the famous... This is where A.A. Um, a. Rashid got introduced to the world. Phil Valentine bought A.A. A. Rashid on stage right here. There used to be some vendors out here. It ain't going to let me inside now. It's, you need a car to get inside. You need a car to get inside now. Because of COVID, it's real strict right now. But, um, yeah, that's LIU. That's where some of the most famous lectures. Your Junior Cheesecake is right around the corner. Yeah. Junior Cheesecake is right around the corner. Is that the one with the white ballroom? And yes, yes, that's it. The white ballroom. And they used to have the projector, PowerPoint. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Y'all know Brooklyn. If y'all could see Junior's, no, you can't see. Junior's is right there, but y'all can't see it. Y'all can't see it right there. Yeah, my, my connection is messing up now. But yeah, Junior's got some good, you know, Junior's got some real good cheesecake. But I had to leave that after a while. Like, you know, I'm studying Sabi and KT and all that. I had to leave that shit alone, man. I can't eat that. Like, I, you know, I just can't. I don't feel right eating. That shit is good like a mug. But I just can't. I can't eat it like that, man. That cheesecake. But that shit is good like a motherfucker, though, man. KT, if you were part of our fast, KT gave a recipe. There's something called a paradise pie. And if you eat this shit, you will never eat cheese. You need cheesecake again. And it's like um a bunch of nuts, like almonds, walnuts, and... and 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 all you know that 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 type of shit. Um, and you grind it in the blender, and my my girl make it, and that shit, man, that shit is. After that, you you'll never need cheesecake again. So I miss Juniors, but I don't miss it because I, I upgrade it, thanks to my brother KT. Shout out KT the arts degree. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's good being alive with y'all outside. Like I said, I can't even hear myself, so I don't even know how loud, how low I am. But it was good being on um it was good being on live with y'all. Uh with that being said, family, I'm about to get out of here. I appreciate y'all. I'ma see y'all next time. Alright? Peace.